Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to another episode of the Yosemite Guide. Today we're actually a little bit outside of Yosemite. I'm kind of skirting the uh, southeast boundary of the park. Um, we're starting at Norris Creek Trailhead and we're doing just an amazing loop uh, taking us by a bunch of different lakes. Uh, Vandenberg, uh, Lady Lake, we're going to see Stamford and uh, ultimately Chittenden Lake is going to be our furthest point out there and we'll see what else we can get into. Um, I'll have some driving, additional driving directions at the end of the video. You can see how I got up here. Yeah, this is a, a spot that is near and dear to my heart. Even though it's outside of Yosemite, uh, this is the kind of stuff that I grew up on and uh, it's just really a, a hidden gem in the Ansel Adams Wilderness area. So this is going to be just some really beautiful beautiful sights to see here so I'm excited about this one and even though things are are drying up quick this summer um, it's uh, July 25th right now we're starting out at 7,500 feet elevation um, so there's a little bit more water up here so we got little creek still flowing through here so that's good we should have uh, plenty of water in the uh, creeks to come so this is gonna be a a beautiful trip and so this is kind of crazy uh, there used to be a sign right here that tells you to cut up to the right and the trails not very worn out we're a half mile in on the trail and the main trail keeps going straight that's gonna take you towards the uh, jackass lakes trail um, but you can see where a sign used to be right here and we're just half mile in but you want to cut up to the right and you can kind of see it's a little bit worn right here, but overgrown. So half mile in on your right, you want to catch this, uh, this split in the trail that is very easy to miss. Yeah, and as you can see, this trail is pretty vague. Um, it's not super well traveled, even though there's a lot of cars at the trailhead that I assume are backpackers back here. Um, but that's why it's so important to have a GPS out here, especially if you're doing this solo uh, These trail signs take a lot of damage during the winter time. So uh, Yeah, they do get destroyed. Hopefully they get that one replaced um, by next year, but really easy to miss the turn for this trail. I just use a little I got a Garmin e-trex here and I use it mostly for distance and elevation checks so I'm less than a mile in right here and uh, I've almost gone uh, up a thousand feet in elevation. So this one hits you right off the bat. So if you were uh, backpacking back here, you'd want to make sure you watch the weight on your... And we're 1.4 1, 1. miles in about up to this spot. We got a little fork in the road here. But uh, got some nice signage here. And... Uh, this is going to take you out to a different parking lot if you go right. So you definitely don't want to don't want to miss this spot right here coming back down. Um, and it's Mark Norris Creek Trailhead. You want to head down. But yeah, if you if you miss this coming back, you're going to end up at the Fernandez Pass parking lot and it's going to be a real bad time for you. So we're going to continue up towards Vandenberg Lake. And we're doing doing pretty good and this is just a beautiful sign here letting you know you're in the Ansel Adams wilderness area uh, wilderness permit required for backpacking overnight so uh, yeah really cool sign got a little split in the trail uh, right towards Lillian you do a loop here uh, I'm gonna head towards uh, Vandenberg and up to Chittenden to the, left, to the left and some really cool fungus here there's some awesome colors on there you gotta love mother nature the ground's pretty pretty soft so far but it's starting to get rougher with some broken up granite so it's been uh, fairly level for about a mile and a half here but I got uh, some uh, incline coming up to a vista we're gonna have some amazing views up here coming up 
and just a ton of granite all around. Got this last doozy of a hill here before we drop in on uh, Vandenberg Lake. So this is gonna be a good little good little push here. And I made it to the top of the ridge here. That's some of the most difficult stuff of the whole hike I just did. It was a 1300 foot elevation gain and 3.8 something miles up here. I gotta keep an eye on these clouds. It's been thunderstorms every day up here for the weeks now. Um, today was supposed to be less, less of a chance, but these clouds are starting to roll in, so I gotta keep an eye on that. But I wouldn't mind getting, getting a little bit wet. It's pretty warm. So we're gonna continue on to our first lake here. And just over four miles in, got our first high Sierra Lake of the day. Got Vandenberg Lake here. Really pretty, pretty spot. I feel like mosquitoes can be pretty bad around here though. Doesn't seem like this year is a particularly bad year, but uh, always have bug spray with you. But just absolutely beautiful. Got some clouds rolling in. Sing Peak over there. Lady Lake is gonna be on the other side. I'm gonna try and hit that one later. But we're gonna uh, continue onward. But yeah, really pretty spot here. And we're just under five miles in, about a little over four and a half miles in. We got our split here for Lady Lake. Uh, that's a really pretty lake, just uh, less than a mile that way. So I'm gonna try and go off trail and do a little bit of a loop from here and come back come back this way but we're going to keep heading to the right towards uh Lillian and then Stanford and uh ultimately Chittenden so uh, I am throwing on my my hiking flip-flops here uh just because the ground's getting a little rough and uh these clouds are really rolling in so if I do get into a downpour I'll probably be better off being barefoot uh, just because the flip-flops get a little slippery so I want to preserve my my feet and make sure I can do plenty of more barefoot hiking if I need to so just kind of playing it safe right now and we are officially over 9,000 feet elevation uh, we're gonna drop back down into this little little basin here um, which not a big fan of dropping in elevation because I'm just going to have to go back up. The trail is uh, definitely a little bit hard to follow through this section, but uh, just got to stay aware. We got Lillian Lake down there. Um, we're not going to hit that one up today. That's one of the bigger, bigger lakes on this loop. Um, uh, it's pretty cool but um, we're gonna be heading on under these peaks here. And I'm coming up on a split here in the trail. I believe I wanna go left and going right, I'll take you to Shirley and Lillian Lake. Yeah, so we got our signage there. Sh Lillian Lake to the right, that's when we were checking out and then Chittenden, that's where we're going to the left here. So that'll be good. And uh, we'll check out these peaks up here. Can't see them yet, but it's uh, Gale and Sing Peak up here. So that's kind of the boundary for Yosemite, but we'll check those out. And no shortage of water around here. We got this uh, nice stream flowing through here, pooling up. There's fish and all these little streams here that are super hungry. They're all tiny in these things, but the lakes have really good fishing. So I'm gonna cross this, see if we can find our trail again here. Got a little marmot here. 
He's pretty small. I don't know if you caught him on camera before he scurried off. Nice, nice shot of some uh, intermittent streams pooling up down there. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, and this last stretch was a little bit of a doozy, but nothing we couldn't handle. A beautiful Chittenden Lake. We are 6.3 miles in and at an elevation of 9,200 feet. But really pretty. overview here of the lake we got that's Madeira Madeira Peak up there and we got Singh Peak up top here and uh, it's kind of a scramble to get up those ones but check this lake out Looks like I got the place to myself here. It's really calm. Still got a little bit of snow piled up there it's kind of cool especially with how hot it's been it's crazy there's still still some snow there yeah and to summit this sink peak up here uh, the way is straight through the gap up there you get on that ridge line you can just follow it up there's a lot of big loose boulders at the top so you got to be really careful but I would have to be camping out here and uh, hit it in the morning if I wanted to do that but we're not gonna do that right now my plan was to go to Lady Lake and go off trail um, going over this hump right here and then there's another little ridge you got to go to but my spidey senses are kicking in and telling me not to do that so uh, I'm thinking I might just go back the way I came and uh, cut over to Lady Lake and check it out that way. So I'm not sure why I don't want to do that right now, but uh, you got to listen to your intuition, especially if you're all alone out here. So Dramatic sky. Nice little flow out of the lake there. Right. And I'm back up to the split for Lillian Lake down that way, or back the way I came towards uh, Lady Lake and Vandenberg that way. And it's funny, you could come to this spot and be like, dang, which way am I supposed to go? I don't remember and then uh, you turn around you see the sign right there so <laughs> always uh, check behind you but it's easy to easy to get turned around all right so I'm back at my split here the cut off for uh, Lady Lake 
I'm gonna go check it out and then I can come back and continue on out of here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna cut this way and make some uh, chicken gumbo tacos out here. They're gonna be really good. So originally I was gonna take an off trail route from Chittenden over to this Lady Lake. And it's a route I've done before, um, but, and there is a spot that's a little bit sketchy in there, but I mean, nothing too crazy, but just this weird feeling came over me. Uh, I don't know if it was a premonition or what was going on, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I do stupid stuff all the time and I've never had this kind of feeling telling me not to go that way. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know what would have happened, but uh, I'm just like, might have angels watching out for me. So you gotta listen. Sometimes you just gotta tuck it under and listen to that women's intuition, you know? So that's what I did. And we've got the dreaded no fires at lake sign here, but for good reason. And it's only uh, a little over a quarter mile or less than a half mile to get to this lake from that split off but it's all kind of uphill so these hills are hitting harder after uh, eight and a half miles whatever I'm at right now and we're almost 9,000 feet in elevation still so I was gonna come from from that direction over a couple little baby ridges that Something told me not to, but it's still really cool out here. I got a couple campers over there. I'll try and find a good, good spot for my lunch. And here we have Lady Lake. Super majestic. Awesome spot for lunch. All right. All right, so for today's meal, we got uh, this chicken and sausage gumbo. We're gonna uh, put in some uh, taco shells, basically. Now we're gonna do a little bit of these uh, fire roasted serrano peppers. See if these are hot or not. And then for my uh, spicy element, I got this uh, Trader Joe's habanero sauce this one's really good it's kind of my staple go-to as you all right and this one's gonna be super simple so we got our uh, chilies going in first let's see what these see what these bad boys taste like mm, good flavor good flavor on there Not that spicy for a Serrano, but what are you gonna do? Now we got our chicken and uh, sausage gumbo going in. <clears throat> Give you a nice shot of that. We got our chilies. We're gonna just uh, reduce this down Hopefully get rid of some of this liquid. Actually maybe I'll some I'll, maybe I'll drink some of this out of here. I got too much liquid in here. Mm. Not very good. This would be better better consistency for our tacos. Not too bad. Now we could add our habanero hot sauce on here. Oh God. We're ready. These tacos are looking pretty good.
Uh, this one got a, uh, a bit much of that uh, habanero sauce on there. So this one's gonna be kicking for sure. Uh, bon appetit. Ooh. That's a spicy meatball. And taco shells are a little bit stale for some reason. I didn't, I didn't buy them that long ago, but really good still. So I think I'd give this one like a 7.2, uh, a little too much serrano pepper in there. They're kind of really sweet, um, so I definitely changed the ratio on that. But a little smokiness coming through in the sausage. Uh, it's really good. The blue tortilla, I could taste the blue in there. It's uh, kind of sad, but delicious. Uh, uh, overall, pretty tasty and really spicy. Oh man. Maybe the uh, premonition I had was about these tacos. I just put too much hot sauce on there. Got smoke coming out my ears, my mouth, and my nose. Yeah, I think it's the onions in those uh, serrano peppers that are really sweet. But, uh, oh man, I'm gonna need it clean up on aisle four after this one pretty full already I think I'm having flashbacks to when I ate that ghost chili I don't remember that habanero sauce being so hot but I think that first taco just had way too much on there but it's giving me the shakes. I got one more to go and quite a bit of Serrano's. <clears throat> Pretty good flavor though. <clears throat> Let's go. Bring a made it. This was uh, more of a challenge than the hike. All right, one last shot of Lady Lake here. I think I'm coming down in temperature finally. Starting to get my wits about me. But it's been an awesome day. So we're gonna uh, head on out, see if we can find anything else on the way out here. But my lips are uh, still a little burning. And get one last shot of uh, Vandenberg Lake here. Sun's coming out. It's been kind of nice being shaded, but that uh, sun is super intense now. Beautiful day. Made it back up to the vista here. Uh, home stretch now. These clouds just kind of stayed off in the distance, so I wasn't sure what they were gonna do though. But they were trying to form up, but it never really happened. So I'm gonna head on out. So I only did four and a half miles barefoot on the way out, uh, just because I was worried about a few different things. But uh, I got a few miles to go, and I figured I pop the hiking flip-flops off and uh, finish this one off barefoot at a couple miles uh, to my journey so good times and right past that Ansel Adams wilderness sign uh, this is my turn that I absolutely cannot miss uh, Norris Creek trailhead down that way 
and that way is towards like uh, Fernandez Pass Trailhead Clover Meadow area so we definitely don't want to miss this one all right guys so I made it back down to the bottom uh, end up doing a uh, little over 14 miles today tough miles a uh, little over six miles barefoot so not too bad on that front there but uh, it was an amazing day uh, I'll uh, I'll show some maps uh, after I quit talking here and then maybe a little uh, detailed driving instructions uh, for the end of the video but, so I could help you find it that way a little bit. But uh, yeah, hope you had a good time and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, love you. So I couldn't find any really good maps online but I have this book, uh, Ansel Adams Wilderness book and uh, this shows you, this is the road you come in on and. Uh, Norris Creek Trailhead, uh, you turn left off that road, we went up here and we parked right here. And then you hike in right here. And that's that first split you go up on and then to the left and hike back here towards uh, Vand Vandenberg. And then uh, we went over to Lady Lake for lunch, but I went all the way back to uh, Chittenden. And this is where you could do a big loop uh, all the way around here to uh, Lillian, Lillian Lake back there. But we just went out to Chittenden and uh, came back um, the same way. So gives you an idea of, of the area and how many lakes are actually back there. So it's a pretty cool, cool area. Shore Road here on our left, and we're going to continue up this. Now we got a little split in the road here to our right. We got Cold Springs Meadow, uh, Chilkut Lake to the left. You head over, you can get to Nelder Grove, uh, Sierra Sky Ranch Road. Uh, we're going to keep going here. We're just a few miles, we're 11 miles up Bay Shore Road and north. And uh, we're a few miles short of Bayshore Meadows. So we'll check that out. And a little split in the road here, just past Bayshore Meadow. We're gonna stay to the stay to the left here, and continue up scenic byway towards Clover Meadow. And about 21 miles up the road. Uh, starts to turn to dirt off and on uh, so you got a little bit of a bumpy ride for this last uh, less than 10 miles or so but this is a big burn area up here uh, this all burned out a few years ago we're getting close I'm a little under an hour up here uh, it's not super far mileage wise, but uh, it's going to take you an you know, hour, hour and 20 minutes or so to get to this trailhead from Bass Lake. Turn off up Bay Shore. Alright, we got a nice stretch here of uh, paved road with all the logging going on around here. They uh, keep these roads up really well, so they just freshly paved a bunch of this. And we're coming up on, on Jackass Meadows here in the trailhead for Jackass Lakes. And when you hit that, you know you're getting pretty close to our uh, Norris Creek trailhead turn off. So this is a nice road now though. Here's our Jackass Lakes trailhead right here. Trail's gonna start to our left there. I did a video on that last year, but really pretty spot. So we're getting close. And just past Bowler Campground, you got some rundown signs here, but you got Norris Creek Trailhead to the left. Uh, Clover Meadows, four miles if you go straight. But we're going to cut up left here. And this is where the road kind of disintegrates a little bit. But Norris Creek Trailhead, two miles up this bumpy road. And we made it back here. Official time, uh, hour and 10 minutes since I turned up Bayshore Road from Bass Lake. I didn't need four wheel drive to get back here, but uh, 
you definitely want a little bit of clearance. So, time to get into this hike. Look at these little guys here. Hey, buddy. You're a good boy. Uh, you're a good girl. 